Hello to whoever's listening. Let me tell you how I got here. You see, I live in Hyra. Hyra is another world, another dimension. So let me explain. Hyra is a place far away from Earth, but still connected to it. There's layers in this connection after one dies. First layer, as you know, is hell. Second, limbo. Third, deja vu. Fourth, hyra. And fifth, oblivion. You go to limbo if you die early. Deja vu is a little peak of where you'll be after you die, which is forever in the past. Hyra is if you've done something horrible, something so bad, a person can't even comprehend. So that's the level I'm at. Oblivion is where the damned and forgotten souls live. But enough chit chat of things that don't really matter. I'm going to tell you a story. My story. My name is Vidra, and I was born here in Hyra. My father left soon after I was born, and my mother found a new lover. While my mom was at her quote unquote job, I was home with him. He locked me in the closet every day with no food and water. I was five at the time. I made new friends in my head. They kept me company when I was all alone. They told me to do things that are heavenly frowned upon. My stepfather forgot to put the lock on one faithful day. He was really high in the clouds one day. The voices wanted him dead. so. I blended him using the garbage disposal. <laughs> when my mom came home, she sent me to live with my sister. My sister hates me and always beats me. After living with her for six years, while my sister was beating me one day, the voices told me to do it. So I tore her eyes out and fed them to her. When my mom heard what happened, she sent me to live in a closed room, which I stayed until I was 16. I spent a year clawing and biting those walls. When my caretaker came in to give me my food, I smashed her head against the wall all day until she breathed no more. I escaped that day and was on the run at 17. I escaped to a remote part of the city I lived in. Only 200 people lived there. I started dating a boy, but the voices didn't like him. I led him into an alleyway where I stabbed him to death. With this. And then I ate his flesh. And this is all that's left of him, an ear and a finger. <laughs> While tearing him apart, the anti-murder society caught me. They took me in a straitjacket. Upon arrival, I noticed it was Black River facility. This facility was made so Hydrians were a danger, who were a danger, to Hyra could stay and learn. It was a mental asylum and learning facility in one. The people who made it wanted kids, like me, to get another chance here. Unfortunately for them, redemption isn't a word in my book. So that's where I am now, stuck in this sorry excuse for a rehabilitation center. Here we have all head counts. 
that they aren't gonna change me that easily. All right, so what are your goals and ambitions? You ask, what are my goals and ambitions? Well, I suppose you're new in Hyra. We don't have ambitions here. But, however, my goals are to eliminate every goddamn bitchy judge, mental disgrace, who messed with me. My hit list is long, and I won't stop until I get what I want. And no one can stop me. <laughs> you're, you're insane. There's no hope for you. You say I'm insane? That there's no hope for me? <laughs> well, what a brave thing to say to someone who has a head count. <laughs> I suppose I'll start with you. Thank you.